This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way I can create and export a turntable movie of my model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating and exporting a turntable movie of a model. So as an example here, let's say I have Earthquake, and let's say I'm done sculpting with Earthquake here, and now I just want to make a movie that just basically spins Earthquake around like this, and I want to export that out to a movie file so I can share it online or put it in my portfolio. So how can I go by doing this? So the process to create a turntable movie is fairly easy inside of ZBrush. First, just make sure your model is in the middle of the canvas like this. And then we're going to navigate up here to the movie palette. I'm just going to open this up. And then I'm going to click this button here just to dock it to the side. So now I just have this movie palette docked over here. Now, inside the movie palette, there are various ways in which you can create movies or recordings of what you've sculpted inside of ZBrush. Now, the question was asking about creating a turntable movie. So under the main header here, there is this button that says turntable. And clicking this will take your model and it will spin it. And it's going to create a turntable movie from what you see on your canvas. So as you can see here, after I click this button, Earthquake is spinning around and it's generating a movie from that. Now after this movie is created, you can come up here and preview this by clicking the play movie button here. So I'm just gonna click this really quick so you can see what the default settings will give you. And you'll get a movie like this. You'll see that it faded in, it was showing all the UI, and then it faded out really quick. So it's probably not exactly what you're looking for. So in addition to just clicking this turntable button, there's a bunch of different options you can use to configure how this turntable is going to be generated. So every time you create a movie, it's going to store, and some of these options are going to gray out. So you can see these options here, such as dock, window, large, medium, small, are now disabled. So if these are disabled, you want to make sure you first delete the movie that's stored in memory. So that turntable I just created, I just need to delete that. So I'm click the delete button here. It's going to ask me if I want to save the movie. At this time I do not, so I'm just going to click no. And you'll see after I delete the movie that was stored in memory, all these buttons have become enabled again. So these options here will control some of the settings that we have when we created that turntable movie. So these first two here, you have dock and window. So the window option is going to record the entire ZBrush interface. So you can see by default this was turned on, so when I created that turntable movie, I was getting not only Earthquake spinning in the middle, but the entire ZBrush UI. So if you don't want the UI in your turntable, you can just set this to dock over here. Now below this, you have large, medium, and small. So by default, this was set to medium, so when I played that movie after I recorded that turntable, you saw it was at 50% of the size that I was seeing on screen. So you may want to change this as well, so we can change this to large, and this will now give us 100% movie size, and it's only going to show me the document. So it won't show me the ZBrush interface, it's just going to show Earthquake spinning on the canvas. So let's render a turntable now with these settings changed. So I'm going to come to the top here and click this. You'll see that same process happen again, where ZBrush is just going to spin Earthquake and record the movie. After this is done, I come back up here and I can preview what that movie will look like. So I'm going to click the Play Movie option here. And you can see this is the result I'm getting here. So you can see that the interface is no longer visible. It's just showing Earthquake on the canvas. But you also will notice that it was fading in and out. So I had this fade in and fade out, and I didn't really get to see Earthquake at 100% opacity. So there's some other options you can change as well, besides just this document area here. We can go down to these overlay areas. So we have an overlay image, and this is going to allow you to have the ZBrush logo or any custom logo to be overlaid on top of the movie as it plays. And then you also have this title image here, and this one has a fade in and fade out time. So if I just want to see Earthquake spinning in that turntable and not have that fade in effect, I can come through here and set these both to zero. And then I come back up here and click Play Movie. So you can see this is the movie I'm getting now. So it's no longer fading in, and I'm getting Earthquake to complete that entire spin. Also, you'll notice at the bottom right corner, there's that little ZBrush logo. So that's where this overlay image is occurring. So if I don't want that logo to show up as well, I can set the opacity of this down to zero. And now if I play movie again, you'll see that it has now vanished on my movie there. 
Now, the movie itself, the Turntail Earthquake, was pretty fast, and it only spun around one time. So let's say I want the turntable to happen twice. I want to have two of these turntables in a row, so I see Earthquake spin two times around. So, since we already recorded one turntable, and that turntable is stored in memory, to add another turntable to this movie, we just need to click the turntable button again. And you can click this as many times as you want, and it will spin Earthquake around multiple times. So this is just going to make one movie, and then it's going to append another movie after it. And you can just continue adding movies on top of your existing ones until you have a longer movie. So I'm going to click turntable one more time, and this is going to generate a second turntable for Earthquake here. So it's spinning them around one more time. And this is just going to add it to the existing turntable movie that I already created. So I'm going to get two of these guys bumping together. So now after that is done, I'm going to now click play again, and you'll see that Earthquake is going to rotate around twice. So clicking play here, you can see him go around once, and now he's going to go around again. So you can just keep pressing turntable, and this will allow you to spin Earthquake as many times as needed. Now after you're happy with your movie, and you've previewed it using this play movie option here, you can now export this out. So we can come to the export option here, and this will allow you to export the movie as an MPG file. Now in addition to this, there's also this highest export quality button here. So if you just export normally through this button here, it will apply some default compression. If you want a full high res, high quality video, you just enable this H option here. And now when you click export, it's going to export out as that MPG file at the highest quality possible. So that is the basic process to take a model inside of ZBrush and generate a turntable and then export it out. So you just need to navigate to the movie palette at the top here. After you're in this movie palette, just position your model on screen. Then come over here and change your options here. If you want to just record the document, if you want to record the window, and what size you want the recording to happen at. Then simply come up here and click turntable. This will render that turntable of your model. You can preview that by clicking the play movie option here. And after you're happy with that, you can now export this out and save it as an MPG file. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!